Hey family, this is Darlene. Wanted to stop by this morning and show you the uh, the gypsy earrings I've been working on. And of course, I made these during my lunch break, so I wasn't able to record them. And um, I'm not able to record them during lunch because I don't have the camera and everything uh, set up. So it would take more time to set everything up, you know, than have it all ready for a shooting and everything. And that would take away from my lunch period. So I, I just go ahead and utilize, utilize the time to make um, some jewelry. This is uh, the Gypsy Earrings. Let me try to put these up in close on the camera. And you can see I make my own charms. And if you remember... Those little uh, glass beads, the blue ones, I bought those during that Michael Hall. So I'm just now using those little beads. And I love the way these came out with the, uh, the crinkle wire. Very different, really pretty, very light. I like these. And I have a video of me making the gypsy earrings and I'll attach it to this video in addition to I'll add the link in the description area so if you want to see how these are made you'll be able to see it by watching that uh that video aren't these pretty though and see you can see where the charms will come in like where you can make your own charms from them little beads that you don't know what to do with or just like man what am I gonna do with these beads make charms from them and I think I'll do a separate video showing how to make the charms. And it's real simple. Just the wire. You know, put your little bead, like if you're going to make an earring, and then attach it to whatever you want to attach it to. Because they're very different. They're very unique. And you can see even like with these, you got your... This one has uh, four little charms dangling from it. And I used 18-gauge wire for these very lightweight easy to wear just very different a simple earring something you can throw on you could actually dress these earrings up or dress these earrings down nice little pair of jeans a little graphic t-shirt and if they look uneven it's only because I don't have it evened up here and I thought these came out really pretty, too. I'm going to put these up a little bit higher. So you can really see the bottom of them. But the natural stone and those pearls. Oh, yeah, I got this one way down here. It makes it look like the earring is not, like they're not even. They're even. It's just the way I got them up here. Those are really pretty. I really like the way these came out. And I call these my gypsy earrings. So I'll put the video on um, how I made these. I'll link it in the bottom. And I will also have it up here. Um, I think it'll be on the side somewhere right here. in that little white circle you'll see. And you can just click on that and it'll take you to the video for how to make these. And I think even in that video, I have the charms already made. So I'm going to do a video showing how I make these charms. But aren't these just, I, I love these. These are like so nice. So I was sitting here uh, making them and I remember making the first pair. And when I made the first pair, I was like, oh my goodness, I really like these. I'm going to have to make more. So then I had made a second pair, which I've already sold. Um, my niece came through here to, uh, she always come through here to buy jewelry, right? <laughs> so she got that second pair. So um, after I made the second pair, I said, oh no, I'm going to just have to make more of these because I really like them. I love how different they are. You know, just the way they look, just really great. And I use this little wood piece to create... Uh, the hoop. So this hoop right here 
or this little rounded area right here, I use this wood piece to create the earring part, this part. So I just kind of wrap it around and then, you know, twist around, make my hoop. And then I got that round part, but the video will show you. So that video will be linked in there. Okay. Um, I've been working on some, some custom pieces. I'm good for custom pieces. And I've been also working on some of the boxes. I don't know if you guys know about the little, uh, I call them my stash boxes. Uh, the stash boxes. I have a couple of people who buy the stash boxes and they buy those stash boxes and uh, cases. So it's 12 in a case. So Mother's Day is coming up. And what they do is they use the boxes to put in baskets that they make. So they're getting ready for uh, Mother's Day. So what I do is I take the boxes. I put some nice pieces, depending on how many pieces of jewelry they want in the box. And I put the box together and I'll send them, um, you know, how many ever cases that they want. And they, in turn, take the boxes that's filled with the jewelry and put those into their basket. So that box becomes a part of the gifts inside the basket um, when they do the little special occasions like Mother's Day, Father's Day, um, and things like that. I know last year I did the, the boxes and they were all sports oriented you know, sports themed. And inside, they were just basically um, men bracelets. So I had men bracelets and uh, the little small cars that said something like, I love you, or uh, Father's Day, or some some stuff. Whatever. And I got a busy day today. I'm so glad today is Saturday. Y'all don't know what to do. Um, so all weekend, uh, not all weekend, all week. Okay, so where I work, it's very information driven, Right. When I say information driven, it is literally information driven. Information is literally what makes that business what that business is, right? So every time you look around, there is some, we have to train in the sense of becoming familiar with more and more and more information. So this past week, it was a couple of days of, um, of training but it was like really intense. It's always like really intense because it's so much information. And I'm sure many of you have been like mentally exhausted. And that's how it's been for me this week, just like mentally exhausted. And that's like one of the reasons, another one of the reasons I take advantage of my uh, lunch period to create because it eases my mind. It puts me at peace, you know, and then plus, again, time management, being a good steward over my time. But, um, man, this last week has just been heavy. I mean, heavy with information, heavy with training, you know. And then once you have that information, you have to, um, you know, really know and understand how to apply that information. So if you got individuals that are concerned about their finances, you know, um, that's sensitive. You know, you want to make sure that you provide people with the right information, for real though, you know, and that's what makes it so, uh, I guess draining in a sense because, and see, I have a very analytical mind and I can't just, uh, look at something or read something or go through a process of something. And if I don't get it the first time, I'm not going to stop until I get it. That's, that's just how my mind works. And it's like, I can, figure it out. But if I don't figure it out the first time, you trust and believe I'm not stopping. I'm not moving. I'm not going forward until I truly get it. Like, and my whole thing is why, like, why am I doing this? Why does this take this? Why, why, why? Right. And a lot of times if the why is not answered, you know, you shouldn't be moving forward. <laughs> it's like, okay, why is this like this? Why? And I remember when we was little, um, my mother would, if we asked why about something, not being disrespectful, but be like, well, why is that, 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 that? And there would be many times she would be saying, you know, well, stop asking questions because I'm good for questions, right? Well, stop asking questions. And I remember us like, well, mama, how are we going to learn if we don't ask questions? And then what my mother began to do is she began to understand, I mean, explain why things were like they were. So she say, well, um, 
Oh man, I can't even think of an instance, but let, you know how you ask your mom, mom, well, mama, why? And that's what she began to do. She began to explain things instead of just saying, well, stop asking questions or, well, you don't need to know that or shut up or she stopped doing that. And that was one of the most beautiful things she could have done for us was to begin to explain. But anyway, you know what? That's enough for now. I got to run up out of here and go do some stuff. And uh, again, thanks for being a subscriber. And if you're not, um, we know the drill. Go ahead and click the button. And come on over and join us. Darling Knight for Jerry by BDK. We'll talk soon.